Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Joel from Terry Chill Academy. Right now, we are going to solve this question together. For this question, you will need to use your divisibility rules to actually solve this question. Okay, so the question states that find the values of A, B, C, and D given that 15 factorial equals to this huge number over here. So what is 15 factorial in the first place? 15 factorial is actually equals to 15 multiplied by 14, okay, so on. Okay, all the way until 1. Okay, so it is 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 all the way until 1. Okay, now we want to work out what A, B, C, D is first. Okay, so the first part we need to tackle is to actually look at C and D. Okay, so recall that every pair of 2 times 5 okay will give a 10 right and what will 10 give you okay when you multiply something by 10 this will actually give you a 0 at the back okay and since we have this equation 15 times 14 all the way until 1, you will also realize that there will be more five there will be more twos than fives, which means to say that it is suffice to consider the number of fives, okay? So how many fives do we actually have? Okay, 5, the, obviously there is one 5. 10, there is obviously another 5 there. And 15, there is actually another 5 there. So how many 5s do we actually have is 15 divided by 5, which is equals to 3. So we have 3 5s, which means to say that we must have 3 zeros. Okay, it doesn't matter how many 2s we have. If we only have 3 5s, we will only get 3 zeros at the back. Which means to say that, therefore, 3 pairs of 2 times 5 will give you 3 zeros at the back. Okay, and if we know that we have 3 zeros at the back, we can safely say that, therefore, your C and D must be zero okay so we have worked out what c and d is already okay c and d must be equals to zero so we are still left with a and b okay so how do we do a and b okay now we know what c and d is now we simply need to make use of our divisibility rules okay so what is the divisibility rule of nine okay so let's look at divisibility Rule of 9. Okay, so for divisibility rule of 9, we need to first find the sum of digits. Okay, and since it is multiplied by 9, means this entire number will actually be divisible by 9. So what is the sum of the digits? Okay, so sum of the digits is 1 plus 3 plus A, okay, plus 7 plus 6 plus 7 plus 4 plus B plus 6 plus 8, okay? I don't need to write the three zeros at the back, okay? This will actually give me 42 plus A plus B, okay? And this entire term must be divisible by 9. 
Okay, this must be divisible by 9. So if I have 42 plus A plus B, and this must be divisible by 9, what can we conclude about A plus B? Okay, we know for sure now that A plus B must be equals to, okay, it can be 3, okay, because if we have 3, means we have 45. Okay, A plus B can also be 12, okay, because if we have 12, we have 54, 54 we can divide by 9, okay. A plus B cannot be 21, why is that so? Because A and B is a single digit, it has to be 9 and below, okay, it has to be 9 and below, okay, so A plus B can only be 3 or 12, Okay, so that is already one hint. So, we actually need to make use of another divisibility rule, which is 11. Okay, so for divisibility rule of 11, you need to recall that you need to find the sum of your odd place. Okay, as well as sum of your even place. So your sum of your odd place is 1 plus A plus 6 plus 4 plus 6, which will give you 17 plus A. Okay, we also require to find sum of even number, even placed. Okay, even placed numbers, which is actually 3 plus 7 plus 7 plus B plus 8 which will give us 25 plus B. So how does this divisibility rule of 11 help us? Okay, we know that the difference between them must actually be equals to 0 or a multiple of 11. Okay, therefore, we know that 25 plus B, okay, minus away 17 plus A, this will actually give us 8 plus B minus A, which must be equals to 0 or 11. Okay, for this to be divisible by 11. Now, so we have these two over here, these two conditions. Okay, so just by comparing these two conditions, we are actually able to work out what A plus B, okay, we can actually work out what A and what is B already, okay? So by comparing these two, okay, so by comparing these two conditions, okay, which must be satisfied, okay, Therefore, your A plus B must be equals to 3 and 8 plus B minus A will actually give you 11. Okay, and from here, we can find out that A is equals to 0 and B is equals to 3. And this is how you find A plus B and we have worked out C and D earlier. So we are able to get the answer. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.